One of the biggest unknowns about the Galaxy Z Fold 7 has been what is that inner screen going to measure diagonally? How big is this inner screen? There have been conflicting rumors. Some people saying it's the same 8-inch panel from the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Other people saying, hey, my CAD render measures at 8.2 inches. What is the truth today? We might actually be a little bit closer to having the answer to this question, and we are getting this answer from a friend of the channel, Jamal Lee. You may see them in my comment section from time to time. Super cool guy, and they got their hands on a Galaxy Z Fold 7 dummy unit. They posted this video first, and of course, I watched it. I was there because it's pretty interesting stuff. I dropped a comment, and I said, hey, measure that screen. He was probably already thinking of doing that anyways. He did exactly that, and we're going to look at it. Now, of course, of course, what you should be doing is checking the link down there in that description or perhaps in the pinned comment to the original video. Go click it, go watch it, go give Jamal a subscription for this, uh, this effort that he has put forth definitely deserving. All right, so we've got the video pulled up, and this is the first part that I think is really, really worth looking at, trying to measure that cover display and trying to get this exactly right. This is going to be not perfectly accurate when we're just using a simple ruler here, so we're going to have to extrapolate a little bit, but I think that we can get pretty close here. So as he brings this thing in nice and close, you can kind of make out here where the edge of that screen is. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit, maybe we can zoom in even more. Yeah, there we go. So that is six inches, that is seven. That would be your halfway point because it's taller than the rest. So this puts it just, just shy of 6.5 inches. Now looking back at this disagreement or series of disagreements, Ross Young said 6.49 inches for the cover display. To me, it looks like we're somewhere between 6 and 3 eighths and 6 and 7 sixteenths. So we can try to convert that into a decimal. If we kind of lean in the longer direction, the 6 and 7 sixteenths, that is 6.43 inches. Okay, and like I said, a minute ago, we had Ross Young saying that it was 6.49. I think that we are within margin of error on that. And we're kind of, you know, we're using like this screen protector looking thing to kind of be the edge of it. So again, we're going to have some margin of error. I think that that pretty close confirms. All right, but now we're going to switch our attention to that inner display. This is the one that I think we've really all been wanting to see. And same thing here, trying to kind of line this thing up as best as we possibly can. And from this, it looks like it's about 8 and a 16th, which would be like 8.06. But I do need to point this out. If we come down here to the bottom, let's see if we can actually get this into frame again. We're not quite starting at zero. We're actually a little bit past. We're a little bit into the bezel. So guys, I think once again, we have confirmation here that Ross Young was right. I think that that is indeed an 8-inch display and this confusion about it being 8.2. I'm not exactly sure where it's coming from. I mean, we do have this measurement here that was actually tweeted by OnLeaks, but I've like had questions about this from the very beginning. I don't know how this software works. I really, I hope someone in the comments can actually reveal this information, but as you can see here where they're measuring, what I need to know, what I don't understand is, does this measurement end on the outside of this circle? Does it end on the inside of this circle? Where is this measurement actually taking place? Because when I first saw this, I thought it looks like he's measuring halfway into the bezel, and that's obviously going to give you an inaccurate measurement. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it actually is on the interior side of that circle. That seems like that would be a little bit counterintuitive to me. But if that is the case, if he's measuring halfway into the bezel by a mistake, and then we flip back over here to this, which, like I said, is a little bit off. And then we come up here to the top side, and it's just a little bit over eight. I think that that all lines up to, again, like I said, being basically an eight inch screen. We have some margin of error. This is being measured by hand, and we are dealing with just a, you know, a standard ruler, basically. But still, I think this is an eight inch screen. Now, the one thing that does give me pause and prevents me from just putting the stamp down and saying eight inch screen confirmed 
is that we have heard that the bezels are going to be getting smaller. And if you look at these bezels here and you compare it to what we you know, already have with the Z Fold 6, doesn't look any smaller to me. So perhaps this dummy unit's bezels are a little bit off. If they do shrink a little bit, we could creep up closer to 8.1-ish inches. And we know that at least one pretty major detail about this dummy unit is off because it has a hole punch selfie camera in the corner of the screen when in reality it's going to be more like over here where it's always been. So it is possible that some of these details are just a little bit off. I go back to the very beginning when we first got the Z Fold 7 renders and the claim that it was going to be an 8.2 inch screen and I said I don't know how that's possible when the Oppo Find N5 is a physically larger device, not in terms of thickness where they're going to be basically identical, but in terms of, of width and height, it is a physically larger device and it has an 8.1 inch screen. How are they squeezing an 8.2 inch screen onto a device that is physically smaller than that? Well, the answer is I don't think that they are. I think it's an 8-inch screen. Maybe with reduction of the bezels, they can get close to that 8.1-inch territory. But based on what we're seeing right now, safest bet, Ross Young was right, like usual, and it's an 8-inch screen. So guys, like I said, definitely go check out the link in the description. Watch the rest of the video because he goes over a ton of stuff, answers a lot of questions that you guys probably have about this device. And trust me when I tell you that I know how difficult it is measuring these things with just a simple ruler. I know how hard it is to get this stuff right. I've gone as far as literally printing my own little measuring things. I was trying to confirm that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 diagonal measurement is what they advertise it to be, and I kept messing up my own measurement using a measuring tape. So I printed my own thing that was down to the millimeter, or fractions of a millimeter, the exact right dimension so that I could just lay it on the device and confirm the measurement. So again, I know how hard it is to line these things up absolutely perfectly. Nonetheless, I think that this is some good, useful information. Uh, of course, the Fold 7 is going to be fully announced only in a few short days, so we don't have much longer to go to know all of these things for sure. But in the meantime, speculating sure is fun, isn't it, guys? Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.